While it's relatively easy to obtain good scan data, this is really just the beginning of the process. Making a parametric model from that scan data is where the real challenge begins. As you probably know from our last few videos, we are designing and building a pair of 3D printed snowboard bindings. In our last video, we scanned a pair of bindings to help shape our design to properly fit a pair of boots. Now that we had created some really good scan data and reference entities, we can start designing our bindings. We imported our scan data into SOLIDWORKS, which has several useful tools that helped us create models from our scan. Before we could start modeling the bindings, we needed to establish the critical surfaces from our scan data. Mesh data can be really difficult to work with and cannot be edited like regular CAD geometry. Additionally, the surfaces that we created are still rough, so we needed to create new, smooth parametric surfaces to base our model on. This is where the slicing tool came in. We could create slices of the mesh data to generate cross sections of the surfaces we needed to incorporate into our design. Once we had the slices, we edited them a bit to clean them up and use the lofted surface tool to approximate a new surface. From there, we extended, trimmed, and created ruled surfaces to form our final shapes. For the simpler surfaces, we used the planes we created in VX model to sketch outlines and used the planar surface tool to create the geometry we needed. Once we had all the interior surfaces of the binding created, we started designing the rest of the features. We first thickened the surfaces that we created before to build a solid base to work from. Referencing the scan data, we then used a combination of different solid and surface modeling tools to create the parts that make up the binding. Once we had the desired shape, we separated the binding into multiple bodies based on the structural elements and the pad design. When the design was complete, we applied a texture to the bindings and exported each part as a 3MF to retain the appearance once printed. With the binding design finished, we could start producing the various components that make up the assembly. Join us in the next video to see how we started turning this CAD model into a finished product. Click the link below to sign up for the webinar and follow along with our product development journey.